I'm going to begin uh, just by asking you what it, what it means for you to be a Berlin shooting star. Actually, it means a lot to be a part of this uh, interesting, diverse group of young actors from all of Europe. And uh, it's really nice to talk to, to them and uh, to hear about uh, how they approach acting in different ways and how films are made in Norway and uh, how directors work there, and, but also in Georgia. And uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah, really exciting. Do, do you harbor any ambitions to make movies in other parts of Europe at the moment? Obviously, at the moment, you're doing lots of stuff in, in the Netherlands, but are you thinking about one day maybe making a movie in Scandinavia or even? As far as it yes, matters. yes, I, I, I watch a lot of movies and, and the movies I like are not coming from the Netherlands but they're coming from abroad, especially from uh, the Scandinavian part like for instance uh, Ruben Oslund's movies or Joachim Trier's uh, uh, movies are, I find really interesting so I hope I can work with them in the future and I think this is a good platform to show yourself and uh, for the world to uh, take me serious, maybe, you know? Yeah. Because, I mean, yeah, because, I mean, the, the Dutch have got an incredible history of, of, of in the arts, particularly in, in actual, like, art, you know? Yeah. Um, but, but what's the film industry like at present? I mean, for, for those who aren't too aware of the kind of Dutch film industry, how, how, what's the state of it in, in the modern landscapes and that landscape? I think it's, uh, it's quite a sleep, in a way. Because uh, uh, the, there are a lot of commercial films that are not really good, I think, and uh, the art house scene is is quite small. And uh, but uh, yeah, sometimes there comes a film so, film along that that is uh, selected by the Berlinale or in Cannes or in Toronto or Venice, like the big festivals. But uh, it's rare. So, um, yeah, you have to get lucky with, uh, with a good director and a good script. So what do you think can, can be done to help? I mean, perhaps more funding for creative sort of storytellers? And I think um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm studying at the Dutch Film Academy. I'm studying direction in my first year. Uh, so maybe uh, cr creating your own opportunities is a way to, uh, to so show yourself on an international platform. And uh, I hope uh, I will manage it. I've always been sort of surprised. I mean, like, like you know, we've got like the film industries in Spain and France and Italy, and it feels like Holland should be in that list. You know, it feels like they should yeah. be in that elite. You know, yeah. so fingers crossed. Well, with shooting stars like you, it will help. Yeah, <laughs> it will help. I think. I think there's a, a lot of ground to gain in in education and. Um, yeah, I hope it will get better in a way, and I think um, when you look at Belgium, for instance, it's such a some great directors and uh, films that are shown all over the world and Holland has I think a bigger budget than Belgium but the stories are not not there right now but uh, I have a strong faith that they will be uh, in the future so you're direct you're studying directing right? yeah so is that something you'd like to obviously I'm assuming something you'd like to do a lot of in the future then? yes yes actually I was, I started writing a lot when, uh, like three, four years ago, and I really felt the urge to visualize some of those ideas. And uh, I had to, um, yeah. I think it's a, it's another uh, form of to put my uh, creativity here, to show my cre creativity. And I like to work in this. I like to do both. You know, it uh, brings a kind of diversity in, in what I do, and uh, I like it this way. So is, is the arts and, and the, the film industry something you've been um, interested in since you were sort of a child? Is it always something you've dreamt of, of getting involved with? No, it's not. It wasn't my dream when I was a young kid. But um, actually, when I was, uh, I was a, quite a heavy teenager, or sort of rebel teenager, I guess. <laughs> not going to school a lot and uh, having a lot of fights with my parents. But uh, I did this short movie, a uh, graduation film from the film academy. And it was for the first time I felt like uh, I was uh, respected in a way, or, and I um, that I think that was like the sort of like the the starting point for me. I was like, wow, this is this feels great. And the film was also premiered at the Berlinale, so the whole uh, experience uh, got me motivated to to do more. So, have you got a specific uh, sort of mentor or someone that you would say was a big inspiration in you? Yeah, there's this one director uh, who's also directed this this short movie, uh, his graduation film, and also I did another uh, film with him uh, a year ago, uh, May Spinerberg, and he's also a good friend of mine, and he, he I think he's, he inspires me a lot, and uh, yeah, that, but there are more people who, who do. And you do a lot of stuff on TV as well, I mean, this is, this is quite a good time to be 
coming through the ranks as a kind of young actor because these days TV is so good the, the opportunity there's sort of double the opportunities I, mean, yeah. I think when I was growing up it felt like there was TV actors and movie actors but okay. now there's a huge crossover between the two yeah especially for non-educated actors like Ati uh, Duck there's a lot of um, yeah a lot of possibilities to play like small roles and I think I agree. The quality of the TV series are getting better, so uh, I think it's it's growing towards each other even more. So just finally, but is, is there one that you do prefer though? Do you prefer working on a TV set or a film set? Or is there not really a huge difference? I think film is uh, it's still more pre prestigious in a way, and uh, it's also uh, I think I like film more. Yeah, yeah, it's special in a way, and uh, also the the way they work. You have more time and. Uh, you can go to a festival and uh, mostly some better directors. And, you know, it's like I think the the level is uh, it's often a little bit higher than uh, than TV still. Thanks so much for talking right. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey.